In this video, I'm going to show you how to add searchable listings using the WP Listings plugin. I've installed the plugin, but I haven't activated it yet. So here on my site, I've set up my site using our must see theme. Let's go to the front of the site. And we want to add some listings to it and put in a search form uh, without using an IDX. So we have the plugin installed. Let's go ahead and activate it. There we go. Now once it's activated, the first thing you want to do is to uh, reset your permalinks because the plugin creates a custom post type and it's always a good idea to go to settings, permalinks, and it's good to have a canical um, permalinks. So if you haven't set those yet, it's a good idea to change that to post name and go ahead and save those changes. Okay, so now that we've activated the plugins, we now have a new menu item called listings. Now before I add a listing, I want to set up some taxonomies. Uh, taxonomies are the parameters we want people to be able to search for. The plugin installs some by default. You have the status taxonomy, locations, property types, features. But we want to add some other searchable uh, parameters like bedrooms, bathrooms, maybe price ranges. So we're going to start with register taxonomies. And we're going to add bedrooms. And you can use the ones that are built into the plugin as a, a guide on how to set those up. The ID is lowercase. The singular name has a capital first letter and the plural name. So our plural name for bedrooms is bedrooms. Our singular name is bedroom. So we're going to add that taxonomy. Now we're going to do bathrooms. Let's add that. Okay. Now that we've added them, they'll now show up under your listings menu. So let's start with bedrooms. And within bedrooms, we're going to add, you know, the number of, of bedrooms that the property has. So let's start with um, four bedrooms. Now the slug is like the URL, so you want to make sure that you have lowercase and hyphens between the different words. So let's go ahead and add that one. Now let's add five bedrooms. Okay, now we want to do bathrooms. So let's go to bathrooms. And we're going to start with uh, three bathrooms. And let's do four bathrooms. Okay, now that we've got the taxonomy set up that we want the listings to be searchable by, we're going to go ahead and start adding listings. So let's go to listings, add new. Now the first thing we want to do is enter the title. Normally you would put the property address. Let's see, I've got an address here I'm going to use. And then you put in some uh, descriptive text. Okay, and now below that is where you put in the property details. So let's put in the price. Let's make this um, 999000 And then we'll put in our address. And 
and the city. State. Zip code. If it has an MLS number, you can put that in. If you're having an open house, you can put in that date and time. Uh, the year built. How many floors. The square feet. And the lot square feet. Number of bedrooms and bathrooms. We want to put those in because we're going to uh, make that searchable. It's going to be uh, four bedrooms, three bathrooms whether it has a pool. Um, if you want some custom text to show up over the listing like um, maybe the price was just reduced. Okay and you can add a photo gallery from some of the interior images. I'm going to click add media and I'm going to do that. Now I've got some in my media library but you can upload the files from your computer. So let's uh, use the WordPress gallery. We're going to create a gallery. And we're going to select some from the, uh, that we have in our media library. Okay. And we're going to insert that gallery. So we've got a couple of images here. Now we can, if we want to add some more images to it, let's go back and add some more. There we go. Let's update that gallery. So now we've got a gallery of the interior. And let's scroll on down. Now if you've got a virtual tour, you can put the embed code here for the virtual tour. Or if you've got a video on YouTube, you put in that YouTube embed code here. Um, if you want a map, you can add a map embed code or you can use a short code from a map plugin. We have MapPress installed on this site, so I'm going to use MapPress. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, let's go to Visual. Let me scroll down and see if map press is showing up. Okay, um, we're going to use map press. Um, map press is installed. Let's make sure it's showing up here. So you just go to screen options. Yeah, it's showing up. So let's scroll down and find that. Let's go down. There we go. And we want to create a new map for this property. Okay, now this property is let's make that the title. And we want to put the full address here under POI. But you can also create a map in Google Maps or Bing Maps and just drop that embed code in there instead if you don't want to use a plugin. But we're going to use map press here. There we go. So there's our map. So we're going to save this and then click insert into post. Okay. Now you'll see that map press will put it in the main part of the post and we don't want it there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and put it there in that uh, map field. It's in our details. There we go. Okay, now the plugin comes with a default contact form. Um, it will send that contact form to whoever the um, post author is. If you want more control, um, you can use um, a contact form plugin like the premium gravity forms or the free ninja forms. Um, 
Otherwise, you can just leave this and it will add the default contact form, which goes to the author, which in this case is me. Uh, there's some additional details for the listing. You can have some uh, short codes or some text describing the home, the kitchen, living room, or you can leave those blank. If you leave them blank, they won't show up. Okay, so now we're going to go up to the right hand side here. Um, if you purchase and installed some of our single listing um, templates, that would be available here in the drop down. Otherwise, it will use the plugin default. Um, the status, that's one of the taxonomies that comes with the plugin. This is an active listing, so I'm going to select that. Um, in this case, it was also reduced. I'm going to select that as well. Locations, you can add locations and make it searchable by location. So I'm going to put uh, Sunrise, Florida. There we go. Uh, property types. In this case, it's a residential. I'm going to select residential. And again, this is one of the taxonomies that comes with the plugin. Um, you can add features that you want it to be searchable by. I mean, maybe it's got uh, Viking appliances. Um, <clears throat> and now here's the taxonomies that were created, the bedrooms and bathrooms. Okay, on this particular property, I said it had four bedrooms and three bathrooms. So I'm going to select four and three. And then you need to set a featured image. This is the main image, usually the exterior shot for the property. And this is the one you need to set because this is the thumbnail that will show up on the front of your site. So let's go here. I'm going to select uh, this yellow one and set that featured image. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead and publish my listing. Okay, now that I have the listing, I can go ahead and start adding that to the front of my site and add that search form. So we're going to do that. Let's look at the front of our site. We're going to add our search form here. And we're going to put in the uh, WP Listings widget here. So these are widget areas in this theme. So let's go down to Appearance Widgets. And let's go down to the Home Top. And we're going to use that WP Listings search. And we're going to drag it up there to the Home Top. We're going to give it a title. We're going to call it Property, whoops. Property Search. And then we select those taxonomies we want it to be searchable by. We want it to be searchable by location, property types, bedrooms, and bathrooms. So let's go ahead and save that. Now if we go to the front of our site and refresh, see we now have the search form. So we want to search properties in Florida, residential, select the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. We only have one listing, so that's why those are the only ones showing up. And we can do a search, and there's that property we put in. You'll see it's an active listing. It's showing that label we put in, reduced. There's the price from the price field, the address from the address field, bedrooms, bathrooms, square feet. Now that's the thumbnail. If we click on it, we get the full listing here. And here's our full listing. You'll see we have the description with the, the map we created. And there's a default contact form here. And then you have tabs for the details, which is the fields we filled out. And you'll see the tag feature where I put Viking appliances. And on photos, we have that uh, WordPress gallery where we put in the interior photos. So that's how you add a listing with the WP Listings plugin.